Hi, this is Rafiq Suleiman, and you are watching Cloud Simplified. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another video from the Cloud Practitioner Express. And in this series, we started discussing databases on AWS. In the first video, this is where we discussed relational databases. And in the second video, this is where we discussed the non-relational databases. And we talked about DynamoDB, the very special offering of uh, AWS. And in the last video, this is where we discussed how I can do the migration from the on-premise, from my data center, or even from a different cloud provider into the AWS cloud. And this was using the service of DMS or database migration service. In this video, we are going to continue what we started. And here we are going to talk about what are the other additional database offerings that we can have from AWS. So the first one, we're going to talk about something very interesting called Redshift, and then another type of database called Neptune database, or document DB database, or managed blockchain, or QLDB or quantum ledger database. And finally, when it comes to caching, we're going to talk about Elasticache and the very interesting one called DynamoDB Accelerator or what we can give it in short, something called DAX. Let's start with the first one and let's start with Amazon Redshift. And this is very important because if you are in the exam, all what you need to know about is the name of the database and what exactly is the keyword that can help you answer this exam question. So for example, when we talk about Amazon Redshift, very simply, Amazon Redshift, this is the offering that we have from AWS for our data warehousing. And data warehousing, this is very useful for our data analytics. If I have a huge amount of data, maybe in exabytes or in petabytes, and I need to query and analyze my database in a data warehousing fashion, here comes Amazon Redshift. The second type is what we call Amazon Neptune. And the keyword to Amazon Neptune is a graph database. So any question in the exam that says graph database and graph database can be very helpful if you are uh, building what are the relation between maybe uh, the social media friends, for example, if you want to do analysis for the social media, this can be a very good example, Amazon Neptune, an example of a graph database. And then number three is what we call Amazon Document DB. And this is an example of a document DB offering. And the key word here in the exam is if you need a database, that is backward compatible with MongoDB. So this is document DB is offering the same APIs of MongoDB. It's backward compatible with MongoDB. And then another offering, and this is what we call Amazon QLDB, or this stands for Quantum Ledger Database. So again, in the exam question, if you saw any question related to a ledger databases. So you can think of QLDB. It's a ledger database to offer for you the complete history of all changes. Like for example, if you have a credit card uh, transactions, for example, this is done in a centralized way. But then we have another option for a, a decentralized or a distributed blockchain offering. And this is uh, the Amazon managed blockchain. You can create you can manage blockchain network. And this is a bit different than the QLDB because this one is a distributed model. And then the last two ones are related to what we call uh, in-memory database or a caching layer for my database. So if you remember when we discussed something like CloudFront, so CloudFront was offering caching and this caching is really enhancing my performance because I don't need to go and ask the source. This is very similar. This is adding a caching layer to my database. So we have the first one called Amazon Elasticache 
and elastic cash is adding a caching layer so for example if there is a read request and i have seen this read request before and i know what's the answer then if i saw this read request again i don't need to go and query my database i can simply reply back from my in-memory cache like elastic cache and then the last offering here and this is a very special caching engine and this is what we call amazon dynamo db accelerator or in simple terms this is what we call dax so dax is a caching layer but it's a very ca special caching layer only for dynamo db and that's why it's called dynamo db accelerator because dax it will improve the dynamo db response time from milliseconds to even microseconds as if dynamo db was not fast enough you can even add dax as a layer in order to improve the performance of dynamo db very good and with this we can conclude our uh, database offerings here so we spoke about uh, four videos so far the first one talking about the relational databases the second one talking about non-relational databases and we have seen DynamoDB. Number three talking about how I can migrate my database and this was using DMS. And in this last video, we have discussed all the additional database offerings that we can have from uh, AWS that can come in the exam. So now I hope this is crystal clear. If anyone has any question, please feel free to put your comments in uh, the comment section and thank you so much for watching.